I'm Zach with the Movie Castle, and today we're going to be talking about Hammer Films' Night Creatures from 1962. This is directed by Peter Graham Scott and stars Hammer legend Peter Cushing playing Dr. Reverend Bliss. So this is kind of a weird uh, film. It's a Hammer film, but it's not really a horror movie, and it's a pirate film, but it's very little set on the sea. There's like one scene in the beginning, but after that you move to this coast town. So it's kind of weird in both regards. Um, you get these British soldiers showing up on this coast town because they heard a rumor of alcohol smuggling, and it's totally true. Um, most of the town, not all, a good chunk of this town is in on a rum smuggling scheme, including the pastor of the local church, uh, Peter Cushing's Dr. Reverend Bliss, which really, you get a really interesting character, because he's both a very good man that has helped a lot for this town, but he's also doing the alcohol smuggling, and you also know that he's got a few secrets. Uh, so he has a real duality in his character. He's both a really good guy, and he's kind of a bad guy. And he is really interesting. He's obviously uh, the best character in this movie. Um, but in addition to the British government versus the smuggling, you get the title Night Creatures, uh, some skeletons on horses. A really, really cool. Uh, first saw skeletons on horses and Tombs of the Blind Dead. This, uh, I think it's either an Italian or a Spanish movie. I'm I don't quite remember, but I loved it then, and I was like, ah, more skeletons on horses, this is great. Um, but yeah, um, they kind of haunt the swamp, and the, the townsfolk are afraid of them. But they're really only at the beginning and the end of the movie. They're the scariest part, and you're like, ah, it's a hammer movie, it's scary. The night creatures themselves are not in it that much. In fact, in England, this movie is called Captain Clegg, after this uh, dead pirate who kind of starts off the events of the film. Uh, it's called Night Creatures because they were contractually obligated to give their American distributor a film called Night Creatures, which was going to be a remake of I Am Legend. However, um, the well, a new adaptation of I Am Legend, I think... Uh, not really a remake of the Price version, but anyway. However, they couldn't get it past England's uh, censors. So, with that movie unable to be made, they knew they weren't going to, even if they did, they weren't going to make the deadline. They took the film Captain Clegg and gave it a new title to fulfill their contract, which is why the film's titled something that's not really much of the movie. Uh, why there isn't much horror you do get a lot of fun, piratey things. If you've seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, there's all these times when the characters are, you know, they're not trusting each other, or they're trying to hide something from another character, twist and turns like chess. Um, and I think that probably got this from this movie. Or, you know, at least someone on the writing staff had seen it. You get a whole lot of this character is hiding here, and that one's moving there, and what do we do about that? Um, the real uh, twist and uh, turns, and I mean, you get cool secret passageways, you get a guy dressed up like a scarecrow. There's lots of really, uh, really cool things. There's also a ton of twist in this movie, and I really found it interesting how it handled the twist. Uh, there's some things, you know, American movies is usually, here's a twist, and then we'll do a scene. Boha! You didn't see that coming. But here, you kind of see the twist coming, but then you realize, oh, I was just supposed to figure that out on my, on my own. They just, they'll eventually come up naturally, but it's not a big, ah, we got you moment. It's just, you pay attention to the film, and you slowly start to figure things out, and it expects you to, um, which is really interesting. There's one major twist in this movie, a character, uh, there's something about him, and 
you figure it out pretty quick, or at least you should. Um, well, I hope you do. Uh, but they don't really say it for, I mean, the longest time. And you start to feel a sense of uh, camaraderie with this character. Uh, both you and him kind of both know his secret, and the other people don't, and you, you, you feel like you're both in this together. And it's really interesting the way that twist is played out, where by the end, when it finally is revealed, you're like, we know, but it's more about the story and its its actions than, you know, just, ah, we got you. And that was a really cool thing about it. Um, and, yeah, you really get invested. I mean, in addition to being surprised that this isn't a pure horror movie, in addition to being surprised that it's a pirate movie that takes place mainly on land, uh, surprise how invested I got. Um, by the end of it, all these characters moving around, you really start to feel invested in them, in their troubles, and what's going on with them, and you, you want things to work out. You really, uh, get involved with these characters. I was looking through the IMVD for this movie, and one of the reviews was titled, This One Is Special, and I, I really feel like that was the case. You really feel for the characters and their fates, and, you know, right off the bat I saw it wasn't going to be your typical horror movie, and I thought, oh, okay, well, it'd still be fun, but I didn't expect to like it this much or to, to fall so deep into it, you know, and... and to become so invested. Overall, a really good movie and a surprising movie at that. Um, I really liked it. Uh, if you guys check out the channel, um, my next video should be another Hammer film. However, at the time of this recording, I have no idea which one. That was an 8-pack. I got the 6-pack, the 5-pack. I found one of the Hammer film noirs. It's the first three volumes. I got lots of Hammer to watch. It's it's great, and I'm going to pick one. Of course, I do want to see and review them all. I'm going to pick one for next time. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll see you then. Have a good day.